Hey guys, welcome to C++ Hacker. My name is Taylor, and today I'm going to show you how to get cursive fonts on Visual Studio Code. So to get started, go down in the link and click on uh, the link to this, or sorry, go down in the description and click on this link um, to this GitHub page called Fira Code I Script. That's the name of the font family that we're going to be using, um, and it's free. So click on code and click download. Uh, you can clone it if you want, but I'm going to download it as a zip just because uh, it might be faster for this purpose. So go ahead and extract that and open up this folder. Just right click on each font and click install. Shouldn't take too long. If you want to see what the fonts look like, you can go ahead and click on them. This is, uh, these are the italics that we'll get. Great. Now let's go ahead and open Visual Studio Code. What you'll want to do is press Control comma. This is going to open up your settings. And on the left side here, go to Text Editor and click Font. Right here where it says Font Family, um, we're going to insert something before this. So we're going to put uh, single quotes. And in that, we're going to write Fira code I script, spell just like that. Make sure that's in single quotes with a comma afterward. Okay, and then go ahead and press uh, Control Shift P on your keyboard and type in settings.json. Click on preferences, open settings, JSON. Okay, you'll see in here, down here we've got editor.fontfamily. So we've added our new font there, but there's a few more things we need to do. First of all, we need to um, enable font ligatures by changing this value to true, pressing save. What this is gonna do is when we have cursive, it's going to allow the cursive letters that are next to each other to connect, um, so it looks more realistic. Next, um, there's some text in the description that you'll need to copy and paste into here. Now, I, I got this from um, this answer on Stack Overflow, which I'll also link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, it's slightly modified to add one more um, variable in the scope, but I'll go through and show you what this is doing. So copy this all, um, put a comma after this editor.fontfamily, go ahead and paste it. So I'm just going to get rid of this part here. Okay, so you can see that um, stuff is already in italics a little bit. Okay, and uh, let's see. Okay, so after you've pasted that in, um, you'll want to hit save and then go ahead and restart VS Code. And when you open it again, you should have your fonts. So you'll see here, your comments will be in cursive, your HTML attributes will be in cursive, if we go ahead and look at some JavaScript or rather TypeScript, you'll see I've got import statements, export statements, uh, class names, all in cursive, um, CSS classes, and then different things like um, the return keyword, uh, various keywords. So there you have it. Now, if you want to revert back, we kind of just undo everything we just did. So we'll do that now. We'll, del we'll delete um, this section from settings.json. We'll remove all of this about the fear code I script and go ahead and change the font ligatures to false. Hit save. Everything should return to normal. Um, just to make sure, restart it um, just so that everything can um, get updated and whatnot. And then to uninstall the fonts, 
go to start and type in fonts, press enter, and type in just Vera, and you should see this here. Go ahead and click on it. Um, you're going to have to uninstall each, uh, each one individually, so you know, just go ahead, uninstall the regular. Um, for whatever reason, it cra it might crash after, like the app might close after you do it, but it, it did uninstall. Oops. Um, so we'll uninstall that one. Okay, looks like it didn't close this time. Um, just uninstall the scripts and you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And until next time, see you later.